Okay guys, welcome back. Today we're going to discuss settings for FD Show and MPC player. Uh, as we covered earlier in the previous video, we showed you how to set this program up here. And how to install the FD Show codecs, AV Synth, Hail Media Splitter. So now we're going to take this information and go further. I'm going to show you quickly. Double click on the MPC player. And what we're going to do is we're going to load a movie and then we're going to talk about settings. So I'm going to go find a movie, start it, pause it, and then we'll continue. Okay, now I just loaded the movie. I paused it to the black screen because due to copyright, you can't show any video. Uh, I have my player set up like this, where it shows this information down here. We're going to quickly discuss, go through the settings. Everything is left to default. I'm going to show you what I've changed in here so you guys Know what to change to get perfect video and audio. Um, let's see here. Under view, these are the items I have select. Seek bar controls and statistics. That's this area right in here. Okay, render settings. It's all set to default. The only ones that have been changed is accurate VSync. GPU control has flush and flush after present. Okay, let's go up to the top here. Video stream. That's current video stream being played. Audio. That's the current audio. Uh, and my shaders are all disabled. My filters are FD Show Audio Video. And they take priority over this. This is the order of how they're down, like the order of how they're uh, processed. These two are higher than this one. I purposely did that. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, pan and scan. I have this set for uh, full screen. Video frame, stretch to window, and keep aspect ratio is enabled. So that's that. Let's go to uh, options. Let's take it from the top to the bottom. Player, this is what's, what I have to checked off. If I'm going too fast, you can pause the video, rewind it, and compare your settings. Okay. Some of these have been changed. Some of them haven't. So formats, that's what I have checked. Keys, this is nothing. Logo, I use the built-in logo. Web interface, I don't use this. Playback, uh, this is what I have set. Uh, DVD, don't use this. Output, I do use this. This is important. Make sure you have this renderer set. set. V, mixer, renderer 9. Uh, this supports subtitles, screenshots, shaders, and rotation. Leave this one disabled. This one disabled at system default. Make sure the check marks in there and the check marks in there. These are set to this. This is very important that this is set right. So if you're not too sure, pause the video. Make sure your settings are exactly like that. Shaders. I don't use this section. They're all just default full screen. These are items are checked. This part is defaulted. Uh, this is checked. This is checked. And this is checked. Make sure they match. This this is all disabled. This is all default. Eternal filters. This is important. Pause the video if you're not. If I go too fast, uh, I took the check mark out of DTSAC3. It's important because I don't want to use the lab filters to do my processing. That's what's built into this player. I want a. I want FD Show to do it. If you check this off, just a word of warning. You hook up your amp to your player. You're not going to hear the rear speakers pan correctly to the fronts. You're going to hear Dolby Digital. It's going to sound kind of muffled. like, But if you do the way I set it up, you're going to hear, say, a plane come from way in the back of your living room, pan all the way up through to the front of your speakers like a correct 5.1 system should sound. For some reason, loud filters do not send the correct PCM information to the amp. So I don't know whether it's my amp. I have a fairly new Denon amp that supports DTS and AC3 or Adobe Digital 5.1 and 7.1. But these lab filters do not work for me, so I don't use them. Okay, so I have these checked. Muskoka's not checked. Uh, and that's it. So make sure everything's checked exactly on that side. This side here, transform filters. Take the checks out of the first three, like so. The other ones keep checked. And then take the check out of these two. 
So that covers the internal filters. Let's talk about the audio switcher. This is the built-in internal lav filter settings. These are all defaulted. So I haven't changed any of these because I don't use them. So if you want to use them, you can, but I suggest you don't. Because they do try they do try to support AC3 here and Dolby Digital, but they don't seem to output the uh, signal correctly. So just a word of caution. Okay. Um, audio switcher. This is what it looks like. The defaulted external filters. In here, you're going to have no filters added. So what you're going to want to do is, let's remove these for a second. I'll show you how to do this. You're going to want to add filter. You want to go over here. FD show, and you're going to look for a video decoder right there. Press OK. You're going to prefer it. It's important. Then you're going to add another filter. And you're going to go over to FD show, video, and then you're going to audio decoder. OK, and you're going to want to prefer that one as well. And press apply. OK, that's all you do for that. Subtitles. This is defaulted. Leave it alone. Leave that one alone. Miscellaneous, make sure these two are checked. Tweaks, I believe this is defaulted, but keep these all defaulted. Show chapter marks on seek bar. I don't like to see that, take that out. Miscellaneous, defaulted, advanced, leave this alone. Apply, that's the correct sentence for MPC. Now let's talk about FD show real quick. When you load the movie, which it's loaded right now, I keep the name at zero because due to copyright, you don't need to know the movie that I'm working on right now. But it's the exact same thing for all movies. Let's talk about FD Show first. Double click on the little box. These two pop up when you push when you put a video in the player. These are my settings from top to bottom. Okay, Codex. I'm gonna scroll through them. If you need to pause and go back, you can check these settings. Okay. Just go through each of the screens. By the way, I've changed some of these, so you're going to want to change these to exactly the way I have mine set. If you're using my setup, okay? Okay, so now we've done that one. Let's go to Direct Show. This is what I have enabled in here. CPU. This is what I have checked. Uh, this is what I have in this section here. Like I said, if I'm going too fast, you can always just pause it and look. Um, this is what I have enabled here. Okay, uh, this is defaulted, this is defaulted, no filters added. Decoder options, this is important. I have changed some stuff in here. My, I have a four, four core processor. If you have a six core, you're gonna change to six, four, or two. Uh, set this to auto, auto detect. Set these two exactly the same. That there, check that, check that. Uh, this is disabled, disabled, disabled. So there's no check marks. So none of these are are, are going to be enabled. If you try to piss with these these items, you're going to notice your video is either going to be ghosty or you're going to be having jittered audio. The more processing you enable in your video, the more it's going to jitter. I'm just warning you, you want to keep it all disabled. Sharpen, this is the only one I enable. X Sharpen, I set it to 20 and 150. This is disabled, 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 disabled. Uh, disabled, disabled. All the way down. Uh, subtitles is also disabled because we're not using this as a subtitle renderer. Uh, and these ones here are very important as well. Uh, this is what I have checked in here. And this one is also very important. Make sure these are all checked. This is set to auto and auto. RGB conversion. This one is set to Blu ray 709. Because that's what the spec is for the YCBCR specification. I have that set there. These two are checked. This is set to auto. Input levels are set to standard. Okay. And then down here, computer monitor. This is important. This is checked to 0 to 255. So those are my settings for FD Show. Let's press OK. Let's show you these settings for FD Show Audio. Let's go up to the top. Codex. These are the ones you're going to want to enable. Uh, do you want to just double check your settings of mine? 
Let's go down. If I go too fast, you can pause and go back. Okay, direct show. And this is default info. These are all checked. Uh, this is default. This is default. Default. No filters are showing. Decoder options. This one's checked. It's important you check that. Processing. Make sure all three of these are checked and this is set to none. Dolby Digital. Decoder. This is disabled. The only one I have enabled is volume. Now this is important to get good sound in HDMI when your amp's not on. So check volume. I set my inputs to 100% and it stays there. This is not checked. So none of this is set and this is show current volume levels. As you play a video, you can actually see the levels of your speakers of the audio. Like uh, you can play back, center, channel, right, left, uh, rear, LFE. It's kind of neat when you see all the different bars moving up and down. Okay, let's go over here. Mixer, this is enabled. I have it set to five channel. LFE enabled. And this is all that's set in here. So if you have 7.1, you're gonna set it to 7.1. You get the idea. Okay. Output. This is the most important section of this codec. This one's checked. This is checked, checked, and checked. This is unchecked. Okay, unless you're receiver supports it like it says this is important you check this first and you say try all formats default 16 bit is checked uh, I don't have any of this checked and it works perfect so you want to set your settings up like this just like it says here there's are some little tips to help you out uncheck everything except 16 bit integer and it works good these are the defaults but you have to do change some changes here which I've done and that's it. So click OK. So there you go, guys. If you're going to play a movie from any DVD HD into these players, those are the best settings that you can get for your audio and video. And if you turn your amp on and you enable your, uh, your Dolby Digital. Now, since we're talking about Dolby Digital and DTS, I'm going to cover something that a lot of people don't know. If you buy a new video card and you install it, it's got HDMI on it, and you're using onboard uh, Adobe Digital or PCM on your motherboard to talk to your amp, to plug into your amp to your motherboard for the audio, just uh, make sure you install the video drivers first and then install the Realtek onboard drivers second. If you do it in the other order, it's not going to work. You're not going to be able to connect your amp. You have to do it in that order. And another thing too, I'll talk about playback devices quickly. This is my Sony. And then down here is my amp. Right here. When you, I'll just do one. And you, it's the same for all of them. So I'm going to go uh, properties. F formats. These two are checked. And that's checked. Levels is set to 100. Enhancements. You want to make sure that you check disables all sound effects and enhancements in your HDMI and your digital you don't want enhancements added to your signal okay you just leave this stuff alone so anyway that's pretty much it guys um, another thing too Dolby Atmos I promised I'd make a video on that um, I'll talk a little bit about that now before I end this video if you take a uh, let's load this up quick and show you do you remember in the past in the other videos talking about uh, TS Musker? This program here. If you have uh, first thing you gotta ask yourself is two questions: What type of digital track does it have, and is it have a playlist that's all screwed up? If it's got a playlist that's all screwed up, you're gonna need to debug the correct playlist first, and and uh, if it's got Atmos, Dolby Atmos, which is the new one. You're going to need to split it before you bring it back together to play in the player. And uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to input your file here. Once you find the correct playlist, you're going to add it here. It's going to show up a bunch of files. The file you're concerned about is called the AC3 True HD. You're going to click that and you're going to see an option that says down convert 
to AC3 option in TS Musk. It's going to appear in this section. You're going to press that, and I'm not too sure if uh, I'd have to put a video in to show you. When you press that, it's going to create four files. It's going to create H264, AC3, and maybe one or two subtitle files if you've got forced or not. So what you're going to do is you need to down convert the true HD to AC3 option here with TS Musker. And then once it's done, you can remux it back in. So you just select this, add those four files up here, and remux it back into a, a Blu-ray structure. Once you've done that, this is a one-to-one -one copy, no compression. Once you've done that step, you can take that file, open it in this player or this player, and it'll play perfect. You don't have to add lav filters and all the other crap. There's tons of people that use different programs, you know, to try to play stuff. And you get too many codecs in your system, your system is going to screw up, and then you're going to be all screwed. And you only want to use one set of codecs, and that's it for everything. So FD Show works perfect, even with Dolby Atmos. But you just got to down convert the, the uh, HD from the AC3. Remox it back, and then you can play it one for one, or you can put it onto a Blu-ray disc, uh, ISO one for one, uh, or or you can compress it. So just remember, that's the only extra step you got to do. Ask yourself a question: Is the movie playlist screwed up? Yes. Find the correct playlist. Use TS Musker to split that correct playlist into four files by demuxing it. Uh, make sure that the if the Dolby Atmos is present. Check down convert true HD to AC3. Take those files, remux them back up into Blu-ray structure. And then once you've done that, you can open it up in this program or this program. And it'll play perfect. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a good night.